Hello, hello, how is everybody? Happy New Year! I know it's kind of late, but <laughs> better than never, right? <laughs> hello, I'm T. I'm of T of TK Arts and I do anime drawings mostly. And uh, this time I want to do um, some painting. This is um, Kinemiya gouache. And it's a great gouache to do for um, screenshots and things like that. I've seen people do it on YouTube and um, I think it's pretty pretty fun to do. So I had to do G Gundam. I'm surprised I haven't done G Gundam yet. There's another anime I haven't done yet. Shame on me for not getting it done, but let's get it started. New year, new us, so let's go, right? Um, a person doing some G Gundam is from screenshots that of somebody that I follow on Twitter all the time. And uh, they got into G Gundam, are they're big fans. And I was like, oh yeah, I love G Gundam too. So I did um, Ch Chikori. I thought his name was, I thought his name was Jiminy, like Jiminy Crockett. I don't know for the longest time I always thought that was, but it's not his name. He has a, a Japanese sounding name that's like a pun on that. So um, this is uh, the new America uh, G Gundam pilot. And uh, I'm going to do him and I'm going to do Domo in a minute. But um, yeah, just starting in here, I just, I, I just wonder like, how is everyone's New Year so far? It's already the 20th. Also, when this video comes out, it'll probably be the 21st, 22nd. Yeah, um, so it's a. Uh, I, I remember I wanted to start this year, um, you know, hitting the ground running and everything like that. And then I got really tired last week. <laughs> like, really tired, I think. All I did was. All I did was chill. I think I, I made it like a rest week and I stayed away from social media for like the whole week. I was not on Twitter. I was not on Instagram. Um, if someone DM'd me for like a commission or something, or was like friends and family, I definitely would answer it. But for the most part, I was just, I'm not, I wasn't, I didn't feel like getting into the, you know, the everyday of like retweeting and liking and responding and everything. I just like break. And um, I think it did me really well because, I mean, I couldn't wait to draw about two to three days at the end of that week, that off week. And um, it felt really good. I, I I can't, I can't sugarcoat that. I mean, it felt really good not being on social media. Not to say like, you know, people are annoying or anything like that. It's just, you know, like it's so much, it's so much content, like so much good content. And then you're able to like talk to anybody there. And you know, sometimes you just don't wanna, you don't wanna be in it all the time. It kind of, it kind of makes you forget like how nice that is. So like being away from it was just nice, you know, and I, I got to go outside one day because I'm down here, it's starting to get chilly, you know, I'm in the state of Florida, we get, we're going through a couple of uh, cold fronts and stuff like that. So it's been getting like into the 40s at night. And then so in the afternoon, it's like a nice, it's like a nice 65, nice 70, 75. And then the cool breeze is going, I had to go outside and just enjoy that. It was really, it was really, really nice. I blew some bubbles and everything, it was just, <laughs> so um yeah for this video i wanted to do a little bit of voiceover because you know i know it's new year and everything but you gotta do gradual changes so i doubt i'm gonna talk the whole video there's some really nice music going on so i don't want to you know disturb that but um <laughs> my voice oh god yeah so anyway um yeah, so uh, when I do these uh, repaints, I've done them before. I'm going to try to make sure I put the, the little link in the top right corner that YouTube does. Um, I have playlists of any time I use a Hami Mia gouache because that's my favorite gouache, actually. I know it's not the best quality gouache, but for right now, I just love how accessible it is. Like, um, I have to make a video of, like, you know, me actually using this stuff and explaining it. But it's like a, it's in a nice little in, like nice little case and they're in these little cups and everything and the one i have i think it's like the 24 the 24 piece one which comes with two white two whites and um a whole bunch of a whole range of colors that it's just perfect for anime um screenshot repaints and everything like that and i remember when i seen um april blue and sarah F fabizi i want to say that's her name and um, doing like screenshots for like, not, yeah, so, like doing screenshots and then just doing like free gouache art and everything. I want to get to the point where I could just make art with gouache and it looks really good. So we got to start somewhere. So I love doing screenshots and I want to do like a, I want to do like a gouache at least every month. I'm hoping every two weeks or something or every week, but we'll start slow. So I, I definitely want to start with Zigundo. Um, I just love the old cell shading, the old cell shading style of just like, you know, you got, your base layer, your highlight, and then you got um, a lower, a lower darker shade, right? 
and then you can might you might go like an extra step in the highlighter, extra step in the, in the shade. But like it, it was just a nice nice way to show dimension, and then a great way to help animators get things really dark really quickly and still have a cinematic um, dramaticism that anime is known for. The simplicity of it, but also like how they do the lighting and make it look so simple, and then you just just leave a mark. I mean, like these people are still enjoy anime. And anime's been here for a long time. I mean, look at me. <laughs> In my old ass but anyway uh yeah so uh just like uh just had a great time i think i could see like uh the things that i learned like doing this gloss is like how to, i need to make sure that i um go over the colors a little bit more and not add like too much water because then you can see through the gloss a little bit it should be like a like an even even coloring of gloss you shouldn't have to see any streaks or anything like that but i'll work on that next time but for right now so it's, it's looking pretty good it ends up looking pretty good actually i haven't done um a gouache one since I think uh, I want to say since I was doing like the Slayers and uh, Utena um, screenshots and everything, which I, I really enjoyed. That's what that, that playlist is gonna have too in there. So I hope you enjoy that. But of course, enjoy this video. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. I want to wish everybody a great 2023. I can't believe we're in it. The month of January is almost over, which is insane. And then the year of the tiger is ending on Saturday because I think um, the Chinese New Year actually ends on the 21st of January, not the, not the first, like, um, or December 31st, like, um, American, um, the American calendar is like. So I wanted to draw one more fan art of uh, my favorite character from the obscure fighting game. So I look forward to that. Hopefully I can get it off footage this time. <laughs> Like you'll see this like some like at some point like uh, I think I, I like my camera died and I didn't notice it and I already I already did some part of the picture. I apologize for that. I'm gonna try to be better about um, footage and stuff like that. And uh, one of my biggest goals is to make sure like I keep up with the content, but also not burn myself out. So I used to um, work in bursts all the time, um, like a like a couple of days, like a couple of days of the week. Uh, I had to do as much art as I could. And then I had to go do classwork and everything and then come back to the art. I wish I was more consistent, but like more as I hear other artists that have been doing it for a while, it's, it's hard to even, even for them, it's even hard for them to do art every day as much as you want to. There's going to be times where like you just have a, you just have to do other things like administrative stuff or you have your own life and your family and your other job and everything like that. And it's hard to do art every day, but like when you do like try to have like a focused goal and um... And take it from there that way you don't feel like you have to learn and make sure you're doing all these things that you know you have to do when you do art like make sure your composition is right and your color theory is right and your um your rendering is right and your lighting source and yeah and your reference and all that stuff like for this one i wanted to make sure that i i, I drew and i painted what i knew was supposed to be there so make sure like it's pretty much close to the copy but at the same time i didn't want to be copying it because like oh, it's gonna look like a trace thing it's not I, I drew I, I drew it freehand in pencil and then I covered it with the paints and everything, which I like to do because I'm so used to using um, inking and line art when I do more artwork. So um, painting is a lot a lot a lot fun, yeah. I, it's not like I I, I still love my markers, but it's like it's always nice to be able to paint something and then get it to look like the cell shades and everything, like you see in anime. Like um, when I was in high school, I, I took a trip to South Boston because I used to live in Boston. And it was like, I remember I had to look at, I had to look up if there's an anime store in town. And I, at first I didn't think about it, I'm in Boston, there should be one, right? But there was one in South Boston, so I took a, I took a, like a two subways or something like that. First time I ever went there, it was so nice, yeah, I, I'm never in that part of town. So I went to the anime shop and it looked like, there's an episode of uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil and they go and, um, and they go to like a like this this weird anime dude shop, and it's just like this one guy that's like sitting at a table at the front of the store, and it's not even like a real store; it's like a giant room with a whole bunch of like um, old comics and everything, and boxes and everything like that. It doesn't look really professional, but that's exactly what it was like. And it, but the guy had like so much stuff, and I all, all the stuff that I saw, I saw my I saw how to draw anime book, and I had to get it. And to this day, that started my whole collection of anime. Um, how to draw anime books and everything. It's the classic one, the, the classic, classic one with the blue girl and the red eyes hat on it. And then um, I saw he had cell shades. He had cells of um, anime from Ronin Warriors. 
and I was like, I almost screamed in the store. So I, I hated it because like I, the book was like twenty dollars, and I only, I didn't expect to even spend that much. But I, of course, like you never know anime stuff, so you had to go get it. So I, I grabbed two of them. I know one of them was like Ryu about to go change into like the, um, the wildfire armor, and I can't remember what the other one was. I was hoping it's Sage. I hope, I hope it was, but, or or the um, or the ancient one or um, Lady Kyra. But like. Yeah, and I remember I grabbed two of those, and I was, I was so happy. I mean, I can't even remember the, the ride home. I just remember getting them. And then I don't know. And then we had to move to Florida, and like I, I it all got lost. So, I'm, but the but the the anime book made it, but like the the cell shades didn't. And I was like, oh, I still remember buying them. Though. I don't know where they went. But yeah, like I've been I've been a fan of anime for a long time. Um, just a, just a long time. The whole time. <laughs> it's funny because uh, Domo is uh, one of my my kids' favorite anime protagonists, and he knows the whole the whole burning finger speech and everything. And it's, it's hilarious. But like, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I watched that anime um, on Cartoon Network and everything like that. I mean, it was it was it was boss. It was boss. There's a standard test of time by my store. I mean, even like a lot of the animes that like, I swear to God by that got me into anime, they're not like you know critically acclaimed classics like like an Akira or Evangelion or something like that. They were like you know like really low budget animes that they that they just put on TV and it was like it was lucky to even have it because I know you had to have cable to watch the good stuff and then I suppose I, I even caught the anime that I did like um, when I grew up. It was like there's one of Warriors, there was Samurai Piece of Cats, there was Sailor Moon. Um, people said they saw what they watched Saint Say. I never I never caught it, you know. I never caught it. I caught one of Warriors. And then uh, and then like Tsunami came up and then you had like, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z and um, not One Piece. Spirit Gun Guy, oh my god, I can't really can't remember. <laughs> Put it in there. Well, you know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, uh, and, and you know, Nasha came in later and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, just that, that onslaught of just being a being an anime fan at that time. It's just, ah, uh, man, it's like kids, man. I mean, then, then you had the downloading stuff. But, like, even beyond that, it's just the timing of it. And then to have, like, my kid, like, be a fan, too. And they have their own generation of anime. Like, he's in the Izakai, uh, the Izakai generation right now. And... And even beyond that, like there's there's just great anime out right now. Um, you know, you got your um, One Punch Man and Chainsaw Man and Hiriyama and oh god, One Piece like just about ending, but it's like it's like ending on like a good arc and everything. Um, Bleach coming back. Naruto doing like another side series, spin series, and what's been spin off and everything like that. Yeah, it's a good time. Definitely a good time. So I wasn't gonna talk on video. Well, I'm here. <laughs> I got time to burn. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> um, when I pick colors, um, the reason like the video is even this fast, it took me. I wish I, I wish I could say it. It took me a lot faster because it's it's just like it seems like it's something that's not that hard. But when when you paint, it slows it slows you down a lot. I think. That's why it's always recommended to do something creative because you can't really rush it if you want to do it do it the right way or even like get the be the best experience out of it. And like if I if I could recommend um, something artistic for people to do, I I definitely say like yeah find a screenshot and just start trying to paint it. Just try to paint it. Um, just the, the drawing part might be hard, but like you can always trace that part. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm even like, what are you doing? I'm like, you know, selling it or anything? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but like, just something for you to do. Yeah. I mean, I, what I should do is just, I should kind of like make it easier for myself. But it's it's a, it's an art practice too. Like, can I draw what I actually see? And um, like, you'll notice like with this picture, it looks a little different from the screenshot and everything. But um, that at least adds a little bit of originality. And then, but to be able to like reverse engineer like what the animator did years ago on their own which they if they probably painted it i'm not sure if a computer um computer uh, computer um art program for there back then but um back then they used to paint they used to paint the sons in individually and everything 
<laughs> you know, though they weren't paid that much either, but all those, all those, all those cells came together to make the whole animation. And then they still do frame by frame, like to this day. Even though they got computers now, it's still, still a pretty simple process. But, um, yeah, to be able to do that. And that's something that I was going to do because I was going to be a manga comic, art, comic book artist. So, yeah, it's just, I guess all you gotta do is just keep on drawing. Oh, my favorite moments in Gigana let me think. Master Asia, whenever he shows up, you know something's about to go down. Uh, the battle with the towel was hilarious. I know I, I, I don't know if it was supposed to be funny or not, but that's just funny. The first episode, I, I at least recommend to see somebody watching the first episode to its entirety. Because then, you know, you get to see the mean part. <laughs> and then someone just like killing a whole bunch of people and stuff in about four minutes. And then, um, you just see the ridiculousness of it. You gotta watch our episode with Rain in it. I mean, like, she's like one of the best girlfriends. Like, anime girlfriends that a protagonist like him could even deserve to have. And it's, it's funny how she, he has like something so low headed and he's like kind of like a fiery old 90s version protagonist and everything like that. It's funny because like the protagonists now are a little bit different. Yeah, they're like overpowered, kind of oof, kind of anti social. Yeah, and this dude is, is kind of not like that way. He's loud and everything, which kind of might be off, off putting to some people, but. You know, you know, he has a good heart and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we're almost done. We're almost done, we're almost done. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video um, of me rambling about random stuff. I don't even think I even talked about Jacob at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do the uh, background a little bit. Um, the background, if I ever did it again, I would make sure that um, I didn't rush it because I, I know I clearly rushed it, so I ended up smudging the hair that I put together. But I was thinking I, I had to kind of uh, even out the hair anyway, and I do a little bit of edits off off the camera to um, smooth it out one more time. But I had to make sure that I was blending with the gouache, which I haven't learned how to do yet. It's a little bit different than marker and um, watercolor, so that'd be something. Um, but beyond that, I'm really happy with the way it came out and. Um, how much fun I had doing it. Gouache is like a, it's a really fun medium. You can, you see how I can just erase it. Watercolor, you can't really run over things or even put a lighter, like put a lighter um, color on top of it because it just, it just, it just gets darker and darker. But with gouache, if you let it dry, you can almost, you can almost redo a whole picture. Yeah. Kind of like the, like the um, properties of acrylic paint. But like if water gets on this thing, you, you, uh, you don't want water, you don't want water, you don't want water to come back on it. Yeah. It gets reactivated. Um, let me think what else for gouache that I learned that I make sure that other people know. Uh, it's just a fun medium, yeah. I mean, I would, I, I didn't. It's not the first painting medium I ever used. I've, I've used acrylic for a long time just to do like um, event art and stuff like that. And um, I use watercolor not that much. I want to know how to use watercolor like a lot of anime artists can do. And I think it would look really great uh, so I can do uh, posters and stuff like that. I would really look forward to it. I've done watercolor a little bit, but um, I don't feel confident enough to get it to where the level in which I want it to be. So um, I gotta do some more watercolor. I gotta do some more painting, yeah. Um, just putting in the liner. I just love how like it starts to look like the anime cell shading. It looks as soon as you put the line work in there, yeah. Is pretty cool. I want to. I want to be. Well, you know, what it reminds me of. I should do um, Toon Link art. Yeah, practice my um, my shading and stuff like that with the gouache. That'll be fun. Yeah, wrapping it up here. Um, once again, thank you so much for sticking this long through the video. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you enjoyed the art. Um, if you're a G Gundam fan, let me know. Tell me what your favorite episode is. Your favorite character. Uh, let me think if I. Is Domo my favorite character? I liked Rose Guy, but he didn't have much of a personality. But I love Rain, but she's not a she's not a pilot. Um, there is another female pilot that I can't think of her name. She had the Sailor Moon looking um Gundam or mobile suit, yeah. But uh Yep. Just a little final touches and everything like that. <laughs> 
Well, thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all have a great, great January. Hopefully, I'll be back with a new video before the end of the month. But I appreciate y'all. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do um, leave a like. Um, follow me on my other social medias. I do art all the time. And I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye.